This following Uranus and Mars as change of signs that square with one another. Mercury injects some stasis as it trines Saturn. Venus moves into Cancer and prepares to oppose Saturn. The Sun enters Gemini, and Jupiter makes the second of his major harmonious links with Neptune. Now here is a forecast that Jonathan recorded that will help guide you through these events. I'd like you to imagine that you have a room that you want to redecorate. You're seeking advice as to the best way to go about this. But it's not too far from the truth in a way if we can imagine that the room is your life. But anyway, let's get to the meat of the analogy later and have the analogy first. It's just that if you ask a painter and decorator for their advice on what colour to paint the room, you'll be probably given some. Painters and decorators often love to give advice, but you'll be given the advice of someone who puts paint on all day, every day. Maybe they'll say things like, well, my last customer asked for this colour, or these days this is a very popular colour, or I know where I can get this cheap at the wholesalers, or this is easy to apply, so I'll give you this colour. You'll get advice which is biased to the point of view of the person who puts the paint on. On the other hand, if you ask an interior designer, you may be given some very exotic colour which you have to have mixed specially for you, and which isn't at all easy for the painter and decorator to apply, and the interior designer isn't actually going to do it for you. And the point is that your room that needs to be redecorated now has to be redecorated by you. It's a do-it-yourself enterprise. You can't get a designer in to choose what colour, and you can't get a painter and decorator in to actually put the paint on. You've got to do it all yourself. So am I telling you that you've got a chore ahead, a hard, difficult week? No. I'm simply telling you, you've got a week during which there are choices and options which only you can weigh up and understand and evaluate. And if you go to other people and say to them, what do you think, what do you recommend, which way should I go, you'll get back advice which is biased and tailored towards the point of view of the person who's giving it to you. Which is fine as long as you filter it through that understanding before you take it on board. And this is with regard to the problem that you're trying to solve, and it's also with regard to the opportunity which is in front of you. Who can tell what's really a problem and what's really an opportunity? But you. And yet how can you tell if you keep comparing yourself to other people who aren't you? Now that's very simple advice. Don't let other people's pros and cons, other people's ideas of an advantage or a disadvantage, other people's judgments of what's right or what's wrong, influence your own understanding and yet like all great pieces of advice like all truths it's true because it's true all great cliches are cliches because they are so true all great truths sound like platitudes unless you really understand what lies behind them it's a very simple message be yourself be strong make your own decisions and make them with regards to what you know you're capable of and what you actually want to achieve. And yet when you're right in the thick of something as dramatic as what you're in the thick of at the moment, the obvious escapes you, and the simple seems complicated. Don't be daunted. Don't be intimidated. Just be strong, be clear, and be simple. Something which has been building up for a long time, but which hasn't been able to get past a certain point of momentum, finally starts to go in the right direction. And be ready to go with it. This is your chance to redecorate, to make a big and important part of your world much brighter and much lighter. Everything you do will work as long as you do it for the right reasons, which have to be your reasons. And on that note, I'll finish your forecast. Until this time next week, good luck, take very good care of yourself, and thank you for listening.